we have exciting news about MindTap for ManQ. In 2014, the most advanced online product for principles of economics was introduced, and it was wildly successful. It revolutionized how instructors taught, how students learned in principles of economics. But in the summer of 2015, we are going to have two great enhancements for MindTap for ManQ, and that those are adaptive test prep and graph builder. Well, if you remember, MindTap is an online cloud-based platform uh, for students. It gives them focus and direction through a learning path. It matches their workflow. They have clear expectations of what's um, expected of them. They get feedback of how they're doing, the interactive text, uh, homework and practice, learning apps, text prep, test preparation. It really is a one-stop shop for students. But for instructors, they love it because it keeps students on track. Resources are always available in one place. Uh, we provide robust publisher provided materials within the learning path and the ebook. But the real power of MindTap for instructors is the ability to add your own materials or third party materials right there in the learning path or the ebook. And then, of course, there's Applia as the homework application, um, the best-selling, most widely used uh, homework solution, the one that the only one actually that was actually created by an economist. Does this look familiar? Sometimes students can think that they're doing okay in a course, then get into an exam, and it looks like a totally different language. How can we ensure that students are prepared for exams? They're confident going into exams. That's where uh, adaptive test prep comes in. Because true wisdom is often knowing what you don't know. And if a student can identify what they don't know, that sometimes is, ha is half the battle. And that's where adaptive test prep is uh, very useful. 3,600 practice test bank type questions. 1800 remediation videos. These are brief videos that walk students through their incorrect um, answers and show how it's done. And these are done by some of the uh, top classroom instructors in the country. And then students get reports that show where they need more practice and then they have guidance as to how to get that practice. Let me show you what adaptive test prep will look like. Now, this is for one of our other texts. The ManQ uh, adaptive test prep will have more features than this, but this will give you an idea of what adaptive test prep looks like. Okay, so the student chooses what he or she wants to be tested on, uh, how many questions they want to be tested on, and then they take the test. These test questions are uh, new test questions created by the test bank authors. Um, so we don't, we're not using um, the test bank questions. They're actually created new, but they are created by the test bank authors. So they have the same look and feel that a, a student will get when they take um, a regular exam. All right, so I'm just doing multiple guess here. And I'll go ahead and submit. And what you're going to see then is, well, I didn't do so well here, but these are the, um, it'll grade it right away. Student can click on here and on any question that they got wrong and they see what they got wrong. Then there is this remediation video, uh, which is only about a minute, minute and a half long. And then it actually, if they click on the e-reader here, it will take them to the place in the text. Um, where that question is drawn from. Let's see what one of these brief remediation videos might look like. This question asks you to determine which of the following events must cause equilibrium quantity to fall. Let's start by analyzing what kind of shift in demand causes the equilibrium quantity to decrease. 
The following graph represents a standard supply and demand graph for a given good. If demand increases, this means that the demand curve shifts to the right, causing an upward movement along the supply curve and an increase in the equilibrium quantity. If both demand increases and supply decreases, even though the shift in supply causes upward pressure on prices, the change in the equilibrium quantity is ambiguous without knowing the magnitude of that shift. Therefore, you know that to guarantee a decrease in equilibrium quantity, demand cannot increase. Now back to our supply and demand framework. If demand decreases, this means that the demand curve shifts to the left, causing a downward movement along the supply curve and a decrease in the equilibrium quantity. In order to guarantee that the equilibrium quantity decreases with a simultaneous shift in supply, the supply curve must also shift to the left, causing an even further decrease in the equilibrium quantity. Therefore, which of the following events must cause equilibrium quantity to fall? Demand and supply both decrease. Well, graphing is the heart of economics, and the enhancements for Mancu's mind tap include graph builder. Uh, it's a three step process. Here would be the first step, and this would uh, look like a page from the e reader um, or a physical text, actually. Um, it's a static graph, um, but if the student clicked on it, they would be able to progress through how that graph is built. And you'll see as they progress through the explanation at the top changes, um, they can uh, navigate with the arrows or down below so they can really see how the graph is, uh, is built. And then the third step is to actually draw a graph. Um, so a student would go ahead and draw the axes. Um, let's go ahead and make our curves uh, blue. We have, of course, a demand curve and a supply curve. And let's make that the, the demand two curve orange. They can label um, their work. This is a, oops, this is their price. This is their quantity. Here's D1. Here's D2. They can plot their points. Um, they can go ahead and do their dotted lines. So you get the idea. Students have the ability to actually draw real graphs. Uh, if they wanted to see what the correct graph would look like, they just click on this and they can compare. Uh, if they want a full explanation, they just go ahead and do that. Thank you for taking this tour. If you'd like to see more, please contact your local Cengage consultant or you can go to Cengage.com slash MindTap, or you can always contact me, John Carey, john.carey at Cengage.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye now.